Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen where we teach you English through food and cookery. Today we're going to talk about the present simple tense and the present continuous and we're going to show you how we use it by making some bread. Let's talk about tenses first. In English, a tense is simply a way of breaking down different times into a mechanism that we can understand it by. So the present simple tense is really about what's happening right now. And the present continuous is about what's about to happen. So let's go a little bit more detailed with that explanation. about an action happening in general. Something that happens uh, regularly or an instruction, something that we do as a given or a truth. For example, I bake, I cook, I teach. That is a given truth about my life and I talk about it in the present simple. It's something that I do but I'm not doing right now. It's something like a routine. So every day we bake bread. We do it as a given general thing every day. Every day we bake bread. That is using the present simple. It's also used to describe true things, things that are true. So we use flour to bake bread. That's in the present simple. We use flour, it's a true thing. You can't make bread without it. It's a very simple fact. It's a present simple tense. It can also be used to describe a permanent situation. For example, I am a teacher, I am a cook. That never changes. So that's what we use. We use the present simple to describe what we do on a permanent basis. It's also used to give instructions or directions. So when we make bread, we sift the flour, we add the yeast. That's an instruction, it's a direction. We use the present simple. So I am a baker today and I'm also a teacher. So let's get on and make some bread in the present simple and show you how it works. Okay, so for our bread present simple, we need the verb to be, we, plus the verb need, we need 500 grams of flour, two cups, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar, some warm water, a sieve, and a bowl. our bowl. Can you hear the present simple working? We take our sieve. We sift the flour to sift. Okay, so we sift the flour. We add the teaspoons salt, Yeast, whoops, sugar. So we've added our teaspoons and then we start to bring our dough, put a little bit of warm water in there. The warm water activates the yeast. Great word, activates. Activates. 
and then we start to bring the dough together. The flour is airy. Listen out for the nouns and the adjectives. So here's our bowl, great noun. Does anybody know what this is? Noun wise, it's a jug. Warm water. Bring it together with a knife. It stops you getting really, really sticky. We're aiming for a dough that is tacky, not sticky. Very good differentiation of words there. So have a listen out. I'll put an explanation up. Tacky, not sticky. So once your dough has come together in a shaggy mass, you need to turn it out onto a very well floured surface and we knead, okay? We knead, about 15 minutes of kneading. We knead the dough. Continuous. The present continuous is something that is happening right now, something we're doing right now. So at this moment, we are making bread. That's the present continuous. We're doing it now and we will be doing it for the very immediate future. So we are making bread. We are kneading dough. It's something that happens around us and in the future, something that is immediate. So let's talk more about present continuous. We bake, present simple. We are baking, present continuous. We need the bread, we need the dough. We are kneading the dough. Do you see how that works in a recipe? You read the instructions in the present simple, but when you actually act it out and you make your recipe, you move into the present continuous. We are baking bread and we are kneading dough. We are sprinkling flour. Do you see how it works? Easy, isn't it? If you have any questions or you're a bit stuck, you'd like a bit more clarity, Hop on to the comments, leave me a comment, a thumbs up, thumbs down, don't do that. Uh, subscribe, hop over to Insta, Facebook. Plenty of content on there to help you on your journey from foodie to fluent. We're nearly there now. Can you see how that is becoming? Beautifully soft, springy, elastic. Do you know what those words mean? Can you give me a clue? I'll put the explanations up for you. And I think we're nearly there. We're gonna put this in a bowl now. So in the recipe it would say, we prove the dough. And in the present continuous, we are proving the dough, which means to leave it to rise until it's double in size. So a recipe would say, leave in a warm place until doubled in size. We're going to put it into real terms and we're going to put it in a warm place, okay? Put it in a warm place. We are putting it in a warm place. That's all there is to it. 